Scott says, I currently have a cylinder subwoofer and in all placements locations, I have nulls around 60 Hertz. Uh, will going dual help or am I better off going with something with better placement options? So a couple things I guess you could do if you're able to move your couch or seating position forward or backward, you might be able to get out of that null. The other thing is, like you said, when you start adding multiple subwoofers, sometimes that can help, um, but you're going to have to time align them. You're going to have to EQ those and get them to kind of play nicely together instead of fighting against each other. I have a pretty nasty null in mine. Mine's about 50 hertz in the main listening position. So kind of going back to what we talked about earlier, part of the way that I'm able to help that because I really wanted my subwoofers to be behind my screen because I have a really small room. My room's 13 by 19, but the front wall, that cabinet is four feet deep. So effectively, I've got 15 by 13 of floor space. So to put a subwoofer in the middle of the room or on the side of the room, really isn't very conducive. So I wanted everything behind that. But because of the placement, I definitely have some nasty knolls. And so the way I was able to still get a flat frequency response to five hertz is basically I had to reduce the, the parts of the frequency response that were doing good down to where the null is. And so I'm losing output, but I still have way more. I had so much headroom in those subwoofers that I've just kind of brought those down to the null so that it's all flat. Um, so depending on what subwoofers you have, you may or may not be able to do that. So I think going, um, adding additional subwoofers could help you there. But again, you're going to need something like a mini DSP to really dial that in um, and to try to, you know, get those two subwoofers to play nicely together. But you'll find that a lot of times. Um, but yeah, I think kind of like what Ryan's saying, you're, you're seating wherever it's located. You're probably just sitting in the null, you know, mm -hmm. and those, what they call base, base, is it modes or nodes? Mode. In? Mode. So Google that base mode. You can actually, there's calculators online that can tell you, plug in the min dimensions of your room and it'll tell you where the modes are in your room. So you'll know, okay, I'm going to have some issues in this unless I can move my seating forward a foot and a half or backwards two feet or something like that.